All right, guys, welcome back to Father and Son Investing. Second video of the day because we've got hot news again. Nanox has FDA clearance for the single source Nanox Arc. Single source, but uh, this is a big achievement. And come Monday, we're going to see the stock price uh, going up significantly. Now, don't go too overboard with this. This is just the single source Arc. Uh, this is not the ultimate product that they plan to really be using. All right, for all of you who've been following the Nanox adventure, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the single source, this, first of all, this is the arc. A single source just has one x-ray tube here, and uh, so that's only one beam of x-rays passing through a patient. That is good, but not as great as multiple beams. Uh, remember, this, this is not the same as a CT scanner, but they're trying to be able to replicate that. So the way that they're going to do that is by creating a multi-source. This one shows five x-ray tubes. Each of them will be shining or uh, passing through a patient at different angles. And based on that, you can start to create uh, tomographic images. And then with some computer magic, you can try to recreate those into CT scan-like images. Now, we can even go as high as 11 sources in here. The more sources that you can start to use, the better the uh, resolution and quality of the images that are going to uh, be produced. So again, we're just talking about the single source being approved. That is just this one beam here in the center. Uh, but this is a start. Now, now the announcement by Ron Polyakin, the chairman and CEO, says we remain on track to commence systems shipments in the fourth quarter of 2021 and in the first quarter of 2022 with the goal of finalizing deployment of the initial 15,000 Nanox Arc systems by the end of 2024. So what is the plan? Well, Mr. Polyakin has previously stated that once the FDA clearance for the single source Nanox Arc came through, that then they would be applying for the 510K clearance for the multi-source. Now, if you're not familiar with 510K clearance, it's based on using a similar product that has already been approved by the FDA. That's how they're going to be able to get this through because now that the single source product has been approved, it shouldn't be too much of a stretch to uh, take the same system but with multiple x-ray sources. So here we go. Nanox is uh, ready to fly. The other thing that's going on with Nanox right now is the uh, fabrication site in South Korea. Uh, this is a a mock-up of what the building will look like. But they're already saying that uh, the growing interest in demand for our systems has required us to ramp up our plans and timeline for the Nanox digital source fabrication. Uh, they're undergoing a smooth transition from development to manufacturing. Now let's just take a look at the stock price and where do I think it's going. So right now we're in the $40 range. Uh, obviously, if we look at uh, over the really about nine months since they had their IPO, uh, we see a lot, a lot of volatility in here, getting as high as almost $90 a share. But really, we've tended to hover in this $40, $40 to $50 range a lot. And I think uh, that come Monday morning, obviously, the stock price will go up. Uh, how high? I think I'm looking at $60 to $70 uh, per share. Uh, I think over the next week to next month, it may go back up to this $90 uh, per share range. And then in my opinion, I think uh, reality will start to settle in. Uh, this is a company that is not going to be making a lot of uh, money uh, initially. Even once they start shipping, uh, remember that the imaging sites are not paying for these machines. Nanox is providing them to, to do medical imaging as a service. This is a new business model when it comes to medical imaging. Nanox plans to uh, provide the capital to, to provide these machines, and then the sites that will be doing the scanning have to agree to a minimum number of scans. Nanox is thinking that it'll be about an average of $40 uh, per scan that they do. That includes the radiologist reading fee, so Nanox is only making about $12 per scan. So this is going to be a long work in progress. This company is not going to be making money for several years. Uh, and then I, that's when I think reality starts to set in for investors. Uh, I think we're going to be settling back in this $40 to $50 range uh, for this company. That's my personal opinion. Uh, you'll have to do your own uh, thoughts about this. In fact, leave your, co leave your comments uh, in the comments section where you think uh, this stock will be in a month and where you think this stock will be in a year. So there we go. Nanox News hot off the presses. FDA clearance. Single source only, but that is the start. 
and I expect that the multi-source uh, will come through much faster, although with COVID delays, uh, maybe not as fast as we hope. All right, that's it for today. Uh, until next time, guess what? <laughs> Enjoy your investing in Nanox.